We've heard about air independent propulsion, or AIP, a lot recently, especially as it relates to submarine stuff. But what if we took AIP to the next level? What if we used cryogenics to make submarines even stealthier? You see, there's a way to store breathable air underwater, but it takes a special kind of submarine, and Russia happens to be the world leader in this technology, because it was the first nation to pioneer closed. Cycle air independent propulsion systems that use liquid oxygen stored cryogenically at a temperature of negative 183 degrees Celsius, the oxygen is so important to the system that early designs like the Quebec-class submarines of the 1970s used two diesel engines, one to generate power and the other to pressurize the oxygen for use in fuel cells. This allowed them to stay submerged for up to two weeks at a time without snorkeling to get air, which is unheard of for a non-nuclear submarine. But that extreme cold has other uses too, which brings us to our sponsor. In addition to making your submarine stealthy by reducing its acoustic signature, Cryogenic liquid oxygen makes it difficult to detect via other means as well. A submarine carrying liquid oxygen can silently patrol under the ice caps of places like the Arctic without giving away its position, because it's already at a temperature colder than the surrounding environment. Concealment becomes easier, easier, of course. There are risks that come with carrying large quantities of liquid oxygen around, such as instability, and some Soviet submarines, including the M256, suffered catastrophic explosions as a result of oxygen leaking into the wrong place. These incidents earned the submarines the nickname cigarette lighters, but that doesn't mean Russia stopped using the technology, it just means they got better at controlling it. While contemporary Russia prefers to deploy its most modern submarines nuclear-powered of course, AIP tech, including cryogenic liquid oxygen storage remains, relevant for less sophisticated non-nuclear fleets that need a submarine that can remain silent and submerged for long periods of time. In other words, the ability to go undetected for months at a time, making this kind of submarine ideal for intelligence gathering or, you know, smuggling vodka to your friends in the Arctic. Just don't ask me how I know they do that. This has been a historically cold dive into cryogenics and submarines. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more stories like it, then be sure to subscribe so you never miss an update.